All right, we're back with part three. We got our crank pulley tightened, and we're gonna tighten up our timing belt. Here's how you do it. First, you want it. You're gonna, of course, it's gonna rotate left like you're loosening it. You want to rotate that a couple times around. Be sure your uh, timing belt's lined up how you want it to be, and how you tighten that. We got our. Put that on our. Put that on, and you hold pressure and you tighten that and you tighten that at the same time as you hold pressure on there that makes your belt tight that's where you tighten your tensioner all right once you get your tensioner tightened out we're going to start with the valve lash rotate it to top dead center and when you do your valve lash it goes like your firing order one three four and two at a quarter of a turn on each rotation so i'm at top dead center i'll uh, i'll just your i'll adjust our valves with our feeler gauge and I'm going to go in between the specs at uh, 0 .06 for the intake side and uh, uh, 0 .011 for the exhaust side. Once I do number one, I'll rotate it quarter of a turn. This notch will be right here. Boom. Then we'll go to three. Then we'll go one more quarter of a turn where your notch is completely downward. Then we'll go to four. And then your final notch boom right over here one three four and two you'll do two then rotate and check it all right guys and when you do it you want a slight drag you don't want this thing jammed in you just want a slight slight drag you know just a little slight drag in there all right we had just just adjusted our cylinder four and we got one more rotation to to do for number two. All right, well, adjust number two, and then we'll rotate and check our work. Now, this is very time consuming, guys, so take your time on this part especially when doing your valve adjustment. All right, and just go through and double check your work and check your clearances. Like I had to redo the intake side, you know, tighten it up a little bit, but just go through, take your time. It may take a couple rotations at a quarter of a turn, one, three, four, and two, to get it how you like it. You know, otherwise, you know, you have a lot of valve tapping and all that shit. So just take your time with that part, guys. All right, we got our valve cover on. And uh, we popped our alternator, water pump, belt, and all that. And once you start to get your belt snug, that's when you tighten up your water pump pulley bolts. Now we'll basically throw on the intake, put on the header. We'll put it on the little uh, engine hoist. Shit, put our uh, flywheel on and clutch kit, clutch set, and hook the transmission up, and it'll be time to put it back in. All right, we're basically test fitting our flywheel and clutch because this is the A18 bell housing. And on the fly uh, pressure plate bolts, I use our ARP pressure plate bolts, part number 108-2202. So far, I just had it bolted up with the spacers it comes with, and the heads are hitting on the inside. So I just took those spacers off, and we're going to test fit it to see if that clears. All right, we get in there. I decided to go ahead and go in there and just clean this up quite a bit. I noticed it was barely hitting right here, so I grinded it down just a hair. And our only other place is, is our uh, flywheel uh, damn pressure plate is hitting right here. So I'm just going to grind that out a little bit and I think that should be good. All right, there we go. I just gotta clean up the damn mess I made in there and we getting very close and I noticed the damn skid shield's a little different on on the casing. Why different is this little thing is a has a bolt that holds it to the other casing. I don't think that's really gonna make a major difference. So yeah.
but it appears everything else bolts up on this thing so we'll see all right we got our intake manifold on and uh i was running a catch can for a while but i decided to go ahead and bring back the black box and since i had use a this type of advanced engine breathing system v16 integra type r it don't have the hole for the pvc valve to come out so i use a 94 Acura integra pvc valve but uh yeah we're getting there only thing left pretty much is to throw on the header the gasket exhaust gasket header it'd be time to made up the transmission and put it in the car all right we got our exhaust gasket on and our dc sport header it's time to roll it over and get in position all right yeah, i'm not even worried about how dirty this is i'm just ready to get this shit in here but uh that's how i got my power steering re-looped feeds the rack also goes you know to the tra uh, transmission thing but it's pretty much re-loop the lines re to the rack boom to this reservoir to the high pressure hose all right we got to drop down on this padding with the block somewhat under the oil pan which isn't on there very straight but uh we'll bolt our transmission up to it and then hook hook that together and get it in we got our flywheel torque down and we got our clutch disc installed uh, in ready to put the pressure plate on spec clutch 2 plus you know the six puck on one side and the other side is a Kevlar flat disc so we'll get that uh, installed right here shortly all right we got our pressure plate installed now it's time to install the transmission the rear mount uh, the starter we almost get ready to drop it in all right we got this front bracket on this lower bracket see that's the difference between the the shield the a20 had a, a whole thing for that to bolt up and a18 accord don't and we got our rear rear bracket on so we ready to ready to put it in the bay to be continued about to wrap this up right there it is guys in place motor mounts tighten i just got to hook up all the accessories all right we got both axles in place uh, uh shift linkage you know to be continued all right i got this distributor adapter plate on i wanted to show this because it's pretty cool how it offsets the thermostat housing to give more room for the fourth gen accord with the extended cam coupler key but yeah it's a pretty cool piece around like possibly 260 shipped or something from chris at the 3g's form it's a pretty cool design but i can't remember his last like badger bidger chris badger you can find him on the 3b 3g's or 3g's facebook group on the distributor adapter plates it's a cool design i mean Unless you, you know, unless you want to make your own, which I don't see no problem with. I just threw this one on. I had to get a replace, replacement key, but uh, it's a cool design. You're going to want to rotate your motor top dead center and then insert your distributor. And you want to roll it over till you see that. You can't, damn it. There's the T mark and the pointer. Yeah, the T-mark and the pointer, along with your cam gear, for instance, I'm a tooth off. So, yay. So, I'm probably going to have to go back, you know, flip the belt off, readjust valve lash or check valve lash. But, yeah, so, uh, one step at a time. One step forward, two steps back. There we have it. 